Welcome to the fourth video in the Ranarec Studio Quick Start series. In this video, you will get an overview of the actions recorded in the previous video, a link to which can be found on the screen. You will also learn about the repository items created during recording and how these are connected to the recorded actions. Let's begin by taking a look at Projects View, which is organized in a hierarchy. The top level of the hierarchy is the solution, which contains the project created in the previous video in this series. The project contains one test suite, which has the file extension rxtst. The project also contains a repository with information about user interface elements found in the application under test and the code or recording modules used in the test suite. Below the projects view is the module browser, which contains a single recording plus modules to open and close the application under test. Double click on the recording to open it in the action editor. Below the action editor, you see the repository items for the UI elements that Ranarec Studio identified while the test was being recorded. Step one is a mouse click that brings the enter your name field into focus. Step two is a key sequence that enters the text Harry into the enter your name field. Step three is a mouse click on the submit button. Step four is a validation of the welcome message. You can use the action editor to manually add new actions, such as a mouse click or a key sequence. Edit existing actions, such as changing the input from Harry to Sally, reorder actions, and delete them. Now let's take a look at the repository items which Ranarec Studio created automatically during the recording session. The name of each item comes from its properties. The Ranarec's path uniquely identifies each UI item within the demo application. The Enter Your Name item represents the Enter Your Name text box. Click on this item to see the screenshot of it that Ranarec Studio captured during the recording session. Then. Click on Edit in Spy to see the Ranarex path for this item. The Button Submit Username item represents the Submit button. The Label Welcome Message item represents the text label for the welcome message. You can edit repository items in several ways. For example, you can manually add new items. You can change the names of existing items to make them more meaningful, and you can use the Edit in Spy function to change the path to the item. You can also delete repository items that aren't being used in an automated test. In the Action table, you see the repository item associated with each recorded action. Notice that when you click on an action, the associated repository item is highlighted automatically. Watch the next video in this series to learn how to run an automated test in Ranarec Studio and review the test run report. And don't forget to subscribe.